Once upon a time, there was a hero. What is happening, ladies and gents? Slaymate here, playing more stories of Path of Destinies. The clouds parted over Hopefully, the Hopefully, we get the cat time to choose. ending. The rebellion <laughs> was in trouble. Uh, I think I gotta do something with the rebellion, rebellion, maybe. They needed a game changer. Yeah. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Yeah. Bernardo knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But I don't think sure I want to bring it to them. How to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. Yeah. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into and a also Lepino. Maybe Lepino Noir. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old mm. friend Lepino needed rescuing. So one of, of course, these splits Renato off. had a pretty strong suspicion that Lepino had betrayed the rebellion. Uh -huh. but could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Hmm, I don't know how it goes. Let's see, that one went to there. Hmm. This was me using the device. This is me using the stone. This is me trying to convince the cat lady with Lupino killing me. Hmm. I think we have to start with Well, I don't know. They probably all get there some somehow. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do the uh, Lapino. Lapino. Apparently, we'll go with him, and I hope that it splits in a way that allows me to. Like he said, he knows that the the guy he thinks he betrayed. So I'm hoping there's a different option at the next split point. And if there's not, we'll just have to take the other one that we didn't take last time. Which actually, I think it might have been like. You still have a chance to go find the stone or something like that. And I'm like, nah, nah. I think whatever option comes up for me to go to the rebellion is the what I gotta do. I'm not really too sure. Whatever new exclamation point we see at the end. And then my stupid mic is just like in the way. There we go. We'll open any weird doors we find along the way as well. If we remember which ways we didn't go last time. Lapino had apparently managed yeah, to confuse give a, the judge by I'll give a arguing F. that he hadn't actually stolen the winged horse. Lion sack of crap. Only sold it. But wait. Huh. We got here differently last Where time. Where was the prison? The village was empty. Had had everybody fled the ravens? This was super not the way we got here last time. Weird. It just put us forward ahead, or it put us farther ahead, I should say. That's cool, that's fine. And let's see, murder. fire on the sword. <laughs> People were frightened these days. Yeah, they were of my sword Just powers. Just two weeks passed. Renardo had sneaked through an empty town and listened to the raven's call about the emperor's new taste in ritual sacrifice. Awesome. I mean... Not awesome. Oh, we're in the lower part of the world now. Okay, so we saw it, but... When we came in last time, but we didn't actually get to come here. There was like a chest on the far side over here when we were flying over. 
Okay, Lado that did not do that. The empty village. How had he ever imagined Lapino was anything but a traitor? Any honest rabbit would have fled with the villagers. Nice. So we do know something different. Right, explosives. And I got blown up because I'm bad. But was this fruit local? That's what Renato wanted to know. Me too. I don't want any bad fruit. So even though we picked the same story mission, we're in a new place and it's new dialogue. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm happy about that. I'll be happy about some fruit action. Close enough. I should try freeze on everybody next time, just to see what it does. Who leaves these chests everywhere? Your mom. I should send in a thank you note. Should thank your chest if you know what I'm saying. And I think you do. Um, I think we want more of this. Yeah, boy. Oh, I could have gotten the bottom, couldn't I? I'm stupid. Renata had been the terror of the sandcastles when he was two. That's just telling me I got a uh, better crit chance. I don't know, physical resistance too is pretty good. Or all resistances. Uh, we went that way last time. I think we still get chests. Unless the special chests don't come back. Only one way to find out. Behind that door. Renato's nose told him there was treasure there. They must have forgotten it in a hurry. Surely they wouldn't mind if he helped himself to it. After all, oh, they come back, they nice. Even know. It's like where we landed at one point or something. It's like, hey, you got a new gem. Let me show it to you. It's a uh, uh, energy on kill. It's pretty sweet. Or is it? All right. We will. Oh, that's not the way to go. Interesting. Jumped on the well, I guess. Woo! Into the sewers. Yes, hot, stinky sewer action. Exactly what you tune in for on my channel. Yes, look at all that ore. Oh, oh not a real way. It looked like it could be. And mushrooms. Jeremy! You fooled me, mushrooms. For the last time. Oh no, I got hit. I'm the worst. See? I don't kinda looks good on you. Excuse me. Oh, they burned to death. Ravens were landing everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lapino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Mm. Even top spies like Lapino. Well, unless he really was a traitor, obviously. Then they'd probably pin a medal on his chest. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Sorry, Ravens. That was my bad. Hmm. Can we go the purple way and come back? Let's look real quick. It's been five minutes, like I said, since I think we can, yeah, because I came back through here last time. Or I could go that way, 
he thought. Where we learned about ritual sacrifice. Ooh. We found our first level of that. Although I like I like what we have right now. Freaking Lapino. Dirty and bloody. Renato finally. I will stab Lapino. you right in your junk hole. Was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's. Whoopsie. Favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. Mercy. Danger coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah. We see this guard owed me fifty-three ducats. So we make we mm -hmm. capture Zenobia. We find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and oh, his only daughter. Mm -hmm. That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper. Even if he could We have a split. We gotta do it. It must have great power. And we'll see what happens. To make the Sky Ripper, the transcendent Emperor had. Yep, we'll go get we'll go get a piece. I don't know if we can get it and superpower it, cause we didn't go the first chance we got. So we're only getting like the last half in the library? We're getting the good part. It's None beautiful more. here, thought Renato. We'll go give it to it the was uh, nice to be back with his old war buddy. All right. Lapino was a traitor. <laughs> but still. Was good Freaking Lapino? I see. So I'm now I'm getting the shard with Lapino. Or the core. That's okay. What if he steals it from me? Sweet. He could use this material to craft a spork. Or, or a sword. No. You were right the first time, dude. We're getting that. Oh, I can't go back. Oh, shards. Never mind. It's all good. I just want to go all of the ways. Uh, no, we're not going down the well. Not yet. Soon. Right, because these were the places I went early and I didn't have any of these weapons. He hadn't noticed that path before. Oh, I think he had. Yeah, shield grunts just seems too good. Attack speed's good. In a perfect world, I want what? Those three and the crit one. Yeah, I don't know how I how I do that. Hmm. I probably get hit with spells less. Uh, I don't know. I, it's it was mainly for when they blow up on me. Because I accidentally double tap. Close. Close to upgrading one of those. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Uh, did we read this one? Yes. Yeah, we did. We did. Can you believe it? It's a Arnold. Nice to meet you. Ooh. 
booted. <laughs> oh, I'll get you. You can't hide from me for it. Oh. Apparently he could hide from me forever. The worst thing about Ravens was they never dropped any loot. And no one ever wanted the feathers. It's true. Good call. I don't think I like the ice sword very much. The slowdown wasn't uh, that impressive. Oh. Maybe. Just want to look over here real quick. Oh, there's actually nothing here. Okay. Hmm. Hero wall. Hero sword. Firewall. Fire. Extinguisher. Wrecked. Never did get down to that one, did I? Tried to go backwards on it, didn't work. See, that one makes like fire on stuff when I'm using it. Oh, they died. It's most interesting. Terribly mysterious. Nice chests. You should take one home, he thought. That's what I did in like every video game that I've ever played is just stack all and the I best so. chests. Like Terraria. Wrong. You know? All over. He could feel an almost palpable sickness in the air. And if the land could have tumors, they would look like these monstrous crystals. The forest was quieter than it had been. There were insects, but few birds. If he didn't catch the ravens. Renata smelled sick animals and dying ones. But no healthy ones. And getting a bad feeling about this. No. Renata thought. Maybe Lapina was right. Maybe they should have kidnapped Zenobia instead of coming here. What does he know? Nothing. Oh my god, that counter was so quick. I loved it. Oh. This stone was incredibly valuable. Renato could sense it. <laughs> also, it still had its price tag. Lols. No, not the pot. I, mean, I know you hate pots, but come on, man. We're not gonna feel the burn. Let's see what you did there. Huh? Nice. Uh, no, we don't have enough. All right. Here it is. Which sword does the most base damage? I know some stuff makes things burn. Like that, you know, it's pretty good. This one's freezing. This one makes you go faster. Pino better not steal it from me. As he held the radiant icosahedron, Bernardo felt queasy, like dozens of tiny worms. Easy peasy, lemon queasy. It wasn't healthy to be so close to the eye of a god. How could he use it? 
He could take it to the observatory. The scientists there could tell him how to harness its no. ancient power. What does Lupino got to say honestly, about it? Renato ached to get away from it. He brought the core back with him to the Farfarer. But honestly, Renato ached to be rid of it. <laughs> I heard that before. <laughs> said Lupino. I'll take it to the observatory. You attack the Imperial outpost. Oh, shit. The Imperial outpost was a vital communications node. Taking it could shatter but the we Empire's know a traitor. to coordinate. And it would be full of secret plans and maps and maybe even rebel prisoners. It was a good target for a hero like Renardo. But what if Lupino lost the core to the Empire? That could be a good thing. <laughs> Was mm. Renato ready to take that risk? Maybe it was better if he brought the core to the scientists himself. Ooh, shit. I don't like Lupino, but... I know the core was far too important to trust to Lupino. Let's go. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. You won't regret this. I'll treat the car like it was my own baby daughter. Uh -huh. As the far dies and sell it. The Nexus, Lupino was jumping up and down with excitement. Stop rabbiting around, Renardo said. Lupino just stared at him. The moment the ship landed, Lupino leapt off the ship. No balls. Balls, Lupino. Why? <laughs> Why are you such a bastard, man? Like, my first best friend got melted. My second best friend is a betrayer. My girlfriend is a... I don't even know what. Gonna be a ritual sacrifice and... Maybe As not a traitor? Into the wilds of the Nexus. Freaking Lepino. Renato vaguely remembered. Lepino had a baby daughter, didn't he? <laughs> and he sold her. His mother he was going out to get some Easter eggs. And he'd never come back. Shit. But Renato was relieved not to carry the core anymore. He was already feeling better. God and who damn it, knows? Renardo. Maybe this time Lupino would get it right. No. And if Renardo could take the outpost, he'd have access to no. all the Empire's communications in the sector. Right? Uh I'll trust that for a dollar. He felt like Tarzan. <laughs> That's my Tarzan impression. <laughs> Or enough for a sword. I guess we'll do the purple one. Because the ice one uh, underwhelms me. Just like my penis. <sighs> beep, beep, beep. Oh, okay, sure. Don't have a welcoming committee there for me. Faster. Oh, hey, how's it going? Fire for everyone! I might need to go with energy consumption at some point so I can have better swords all the time. Oh, give me those, yeah. Ooh! Nice. Now we're just tanky. Oh, hello. At school, we learned the gospel of the transcendent emperor. At last, divinity to perish the skies. He would banish the girl to evil old gods and grant us the gift of time. But could one man, divine as he may be, create something as intricate as time? I have my own theory believe that time is a symptom rather than a gift. I'm convinced that on a cosmic scale there's a pendulum motion between order and chaos. The transcendent emperor ended chaos and started the age we live in. An age of cause and effect, of fact and logic. Time is merely the tapestry upon which these laws manifest themselves. It is the foundation of order and companions, the foundation for order's companions. 
Entropy. But in the age of chaos, when the old gods reign, perception carries more weight than facts. Emotions can shape worlds and time ceases to exist. The age of horror is ending. I am merely helping the inevitable. Entropy has been broken. Fate has been breached. The end of time is coming, and I shall embrace it. Emperor Eisengrim the Third, Secrets Journal. Oh my god, his dream journal, we read it. We read it. Oh. Oh? Oh. Alright. Boop. Man. I thought it was like a big old secret going that way. Kind of was, but I thought I was skipping this whole way. I was wrong. Bernardo wished that there was more sections to break. <laughs> Whatever the guy said last time. Alright, let's do this. Oh, I was on. F oh, I thought it was on fire this whole time. I'm the worst. And because I was switching weapons, I took a billion damage. I definitely need energy drained on attack so I can keep burning. Nice. And then diced. Um. Hmm. Probably the wrong thing to do, but oh well. Renato caught his breath. His joints still hurt, but he couldn't feel the poison in his system anymore. Poison? The armor just oh. out of his hands gotcha. to save his friend Lapino. Of course, he had to let Lapino take the core. The rebellion needed every man doing his duty. And the rabbit would be no good taking on an imperial duty. outpost, right? Freaking duty. Hey. Hey, a workbench. He could try out his new bling. Crystals are awesome. But I think I still want physical resistance. And we'll go with purple sword. Boom. Yeah. So we only need 95 more gems. That's like needing no gems, right? Hey, how do I get over there? Rude. Yeah. Oh, I got hit. No. Alright, so this sword seems to do less damage than the fire one. Definitely gonna have to sock it in that. Which is, I dislike it. Dude, I will beat you to death with your own shield. Can't stop me. Renato took the outpost with a song in his heart. Soon he was stuffing his sack with key messages and to the fleet. Stuffing his sack. The toad chortled a new message. The observatory had been sacked by ravens. No. The Pino and all the scientists had been taken to the mountains. Why? Why had he trusted the Pino again? And now the Empire had the freaking the Pino. Renato hailed the rebel base to warn them. But their far speaker didn't close back. Was the base under attack too? Shit. <sighs> Do we double rescue Lapino on this run? Oh my god, double Lapino action. No, I've never been to the rebel base. Pino would have to wait. The core would have to wait. 
Renato had a very bad feeling that something was going terribly wrong. I probably should have gone with its location Pino. Was secret, but secrets can be discovered. I don't think we're gonna end up getting a blue ending this time around. I can't figure out how to get to those. They involve the cat lady, but I can't I can't seem to get her. Get her on my side. She's got like seven endings. I should be able to get one. There were Imperials everywhere in the ruins. No. Undead civilians. Undead civilians. Everything in sight. Renato was relieved to see no rebels among the dead. Maybe the secret base was still secret. Probably not. But there were huge burn marks on buildings. What monstrous weapon was the Empire using here? The core had great power. Had they harnessed it somehow, even though they didn't have the armature? Hmm. Alright, we'll go the doorway. <laughs> Boom! I see, it was just loot. Just loot. Only 90 more. <laughs> To have all the weapons unlocked. Don't hit it again. I almost hit it again. You know I did. I think I definitely need to put crit back on. I missed the crit. Not Zenobia. Hypatia. The kid's mother. Oh, his bang maid. had never thought he'd date a librarian. He'd always figured himself for the barmaid type. But then, he'd never figured the library of Ubar would have comic books, or that Hypatia would know anything about them. He missed her. Killing only 5% sword energy. Uh, that's probably not enough. I really like that instead of having to use triangle to pull it off, or grab a dude to throw it into. Yeah. Go with those. Poor Renardo missing his bang maid. Where are the other dudes? There they are. What? You son of a bee sting. Even if Renato could rescue the secret base, then what? Without the sky ring, he'd Wait. still lose the final battle. Where's the door? Oh. One of these days, he was really going to have to start thinking things through. Yeah, stop thinking with your junk, you freaking weirdo. Three or <laughs> awesome. If I craft a sword now, it's going to be really short. That was odd. I like, went, went weird on that one. I don't know what the deal was. But it's over now. Do I want to go get this stuff every time? I don't. No. Probably should. He'd once met a pirate captain. He used hooks to get around his ship. What was his name again? <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, let's just go this way. So I don't think we went this way last time. And I wanted to see what it was. It is a fire door. Oh, a teleporter pad. Had oh. that door been open before? Hmm. 
Guess we'll just keep elevatoring. At least it took us somewhere. In what? It was only energy. I thought we'd never been here before. I am scared and confused. What if the gold sheen means I've found it before? No. I found some other ones. Charred flesh and hear screams. The ruins were on fire. The ravens had rigged up the core as some kind of burning ray. What? They need to know the secret location. They were burning everything. No. It was killing them too. Their black feathers littered the path. You have to take the core from them. It was the last thing we wanted to do. So much fire. <laughs> I love it. He just burned to death over there in the corner. Lols. What you got here? Punish. Terrorize. Humiliate. The masses have been raising their fists, led by a handful of nobles with too much ambition. Is it envy that the power I seek is something that they want for themselves? Or are they just criminals who want to steal from us? There is but one punishment for such a crime. Death. Make an example of the leaders. Execute anyone who dares following them. Wait, who dares follow? Okay, sure. Or is it fear that the sacrifices I've been making would extend to them? Is this a war for survival? Show them the true meaning of fear. Strike them fast and strike them hard. Make them suffer. Burn everything they hold dear. Or is it pride? that the meaning of those sacrifices would forever escape their comprehension. They want inclusion. I say in my decisions. A say? <laughs> this arrogance cannot be allowed. Take those who surrender to the salt mine. Let their lungs fill with corrosive dust. Let them betray one another for scraps of food. Let their children watch as they fall into savagery. End the rebellion without mercy. Punish, terrorize, humiliate. Emperor Rise at Grim the Third War Manifesto. Wow, what a bag of douche. I don't say that lightly, but what a douchebag. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we're good. Hit. Uh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't blow myself up for the first time ever. Slice. Really slice like ham. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. Inappropriate. You have died from taking damage. <laughs> How rude. Lepredo, you double-crossing bastard! Quiet. Too quiet. Was good. No, it was also, bad. It seemed to be burning. That <laughs> I was freezing, dudes. Lols. Totally block that. I don't have to clean up around here, he thought. No. The betrayal. The betrayal is coming. Damn it. 
I can taste the betrayal. Tastes like mangoes. As the last raven fell, Renardo felt worse than he ever had. The core was killing him, again. The council members cautiously came out into the smoke. You saved us, croaked the speaker. They would put the weaponized core deep in a cavern, she promised, where its poison could harm no one. They would heal him if they could, she said. No, it's a weapon now. We need one. No. I'll lead the charge. Don't do it. It will kill you, croaked the speaker. I guess it already has, Renato said. She bobbed her head gravely. When all this is over, she said, we'll name our new capital city for you. He flew towards the Imperial fleet. Damn it. A myriad ships in disciplined Could formation. Get killed again. Waiting for the signal to destroy the rebellion forever. Behind him, the rebels were charging. Should have he gone failed, after Lupino. They would die. And so the final battle began. Dang it. Well, our ending won't be the same, but... It'll be in the same tree. I think I need to get... Uh, I, need to, I just need to go after the cat and pick different cat choices. Because this will end up with me blowing the core up, I'm pretty sure. And Everything in turn, hurt. myself. It was unpleasant to fight this way. With each blow he struck with his sword, he felt weaker. Yet each time the core fired, it got brighter. As if the heat for the burning ravens and buildings only fed its hunger. He wondered where Lupino was. Freaking Lupino Noir. Wasn't he supposed to be in the battle? No. He'd been captured, hadn't he? Oh, Renato's mind was smoky now, like the burning fleet. He hoped this wouldn't take long. It might, if I get all this loot. If I get every piece of loot. Nice. I've been here before, so it doesn't matter. You got this. You don't. You don't got this. Oh man, we're low health. Didn't I heal? Leonardo Opolis. Hmm? Vulpus Major. Lando Nardo. <laughs> no. Not Lando Nardo. going to name a capital city after him. Well, he just wished he had a better name. Where is Lupino? Oh, look, it's tasing stuff in the butthole. Thanks, you dirty, weird murder bot. The core was a wonderful weapon. Swept fire across the fleet. Ravens exploded in its gaze, and with every heartbeat, it grew brighter. He would die, but he would die every inch a hero, spectacularly changing history like the legendary heroes of war. Not of your. I couldn't remember anymore. It's killing me. Oh, really didn't have much in the way of safety. Ah. Uh, did it? Ah. Uh, freaking core is draining my health. No! Get away from me, Core. I don't like you. No! How do I get over? Help me! Lapino! Jump. Jump across! Oh. My B. <laughs> well, almost out of health. I 
I wish it would give me some. Instead of draining it. Please boxes, please boxes. Now! Now they didn't have anything in them. Renato fell to his knees. The Emperor's bodyguards were lined up before his ship. Fierce ravens, all. And Zenobia. She was conjuring. He could not take another step. No. All he could do was fire the core. Don't do it. The ravens, Zenobia, the ship, all burst into flames, disintegrated, and blew away. So they had one, after all. The core grew brighter. He shielded his eyes, but he could still see it through his sleeves and through the flesh of his arm. And then he felt heat as the fire grew to consume both fleets. <laughs> and then he felt nothing. Dead boys. And he hadn't learned anything new this time. Damn it! He'd done the same thing twice, yet expected a different outcome. Damn it! Renardopolis. <laughs> a hero who goes down in a blaze of glory. We did, get, we did get a different one. Look for this icon when making choices in the book. But, but I, but I never saw that symbol, damn it. Ah, right, well. There would be a way to win. Renato could feel it. He'd have to explore choices he'd never made before he could figure it all out, though. And with that, the book's pages fluttered to the beginning once again, and he fell. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. <laughs> the rebellion was in trouble. Damn it, they needed a game changer. Ravens are scouting for the secret rebel base. They need All right, a well, game changer. thanks for watching, guys, of the Sky and we'll see you next time. Not a difficult choice at all, right? Every choice has its story. Every story has its hero. What kind of hero are you?